Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to test your APIs right inside Visual Studio Code. What this does for you is that you end up uh, reducing the amount of context you have to switch to other third, application, third party applications like Postman when trying to test your API endpoint, uh, considering the fact that you probably are already uh, building your API right inside Visual Studio Code. Like the code you've written for your API is written with Visual Studio Code. So it only makes sense for you to test uh, those those endpoints inside of Visual Studio. Now to do that, the first thing we have to do is to install this uh, this third part extension called REST Client. I already have it installed, but if you don't, you should see an option to install it right here. Now, once you do that, that's literally everything you need to do uh, to set up at least. But then to actually start testing an endpoint, we need to create a .http file. Let's call that um, just test.http, that should be fine. Now, once you have this created, we need to make it, let's do get request instead to probably uh, GitHub API. I'm just going to make a request to my, uh, to get every information about me. This is my GitHub username. This is the endpoint for making requests to to get a username to get a user's details from GitHub. Now, once we have that done, uh, we can set up some headers. In this case, we just want the content type to be application slash JSON, and then uh, we can actually make the request. So, if you send request, you should see a response sent back to you. Let's reduce all of this. And you should, this, the first thing you would see are all the headers that came from that request. And then um, the next thing you would see is the body. So you can see my login username, my ID, and every other thing you need to know about me as a GitHub user. So you can imagine this also works uh, locally for, for probably Node and Express or whatever type of API you have running on, on localhost. So uh, go wide with it, try out different things. You can check out your documentation. Uh, let's see if we have that open anywhere. Search for REST client here. Yeah. Check out the docs and see all the possible things you can do with it. I'm going to link, uh, paste a link to that uh, in the description of this video. So you can just click and then like uh, see like all the possible things. It's, I think I just saw GraphQL here. Yeah. All the possible things you can do with this extension. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.